All right, in this problem, we're told that Statuary Hall, or it's, it's a whispering gallery in the United States Capitol, um, it's an elliptical shape room, and apparently what can happen is if you are, keep in mind, okay, an ellipse looks something like that. If you're at one of the foci and, and you whisper, the sound will bounce off the walls in such a way that it then goes and hits the other foci. So you can whisper at one spot and be rather far away from the other person, but somebody can stand at the other foci and hear you when you whisper. Okay, so um, I remember maybe back in middle school hearing a story about a politician back in the day who would keep his head on his desk and, and, and they thought he was sleeping, but really he was listening to the opposition on the other side of the room. I, I think that's a true story. I don't know, um, but we're going to go with it because it sounds fun. Okay, so in this particular situation, they tell us that it's 46 feet wide and 97 feet long. They want to know where the foci are, and then they want us to write an equation of the shape of the room. Okay, so if this whole thing is 97 feet long and this whole thing is 46 feet wide, what I would do, okay, so maybe I should put units, but the center, let's just say that the center is at the origin, zero, zero. Um, we could put it anywhere we want, but why complicate our lives if we don't have to? Okay, so what we know here is that we have gone from zero, zero, we've gone at um, half of this 97, uh, which is what... 40, well, let's see, 48.5. Okay, so half of that um, is 48.5 feet, right? Am I doing my math? That'd be 96. Okay, so one more, seven. Um, 97. And then half of this is going to be 23 feet. So from here to here is 23. This distance here is this um, 48.5. But then we also need to figure out, okay, well, where is the foci? Okay, well, okay, one thing at a time. The equation, we're centered at the origin, so it's x squared over something plus y squared over something equals 1 is our basic format for an ellipse. We've moved in the x direction, um, 48.5. Well, that needs to get squared. And in theory, I don't like decimals mixed in with fractions. Um, I don't have a calculator at home these days, and that just really makes me sad. But... Um, that's the only the only thing I wish I had um, at home was a decent calculator, but okay. Um, so for the, these purposes, there we go. It, we could square this, and then, it, then we're going to need to put, because it's a 0.5, it changes things a little bit, but whatever. Okay, so um, on this one, then we have, we've gone 23 units in the y direction. Now notice they don't tell us um, that it's, that it's wider than it is tall. They just say that it's this feet wide and this feet long. And um, so if you had switched these two, I don't see a problem with that, okay? Because um, we don't know what direction, and we're kind of deciding, um, maybe we shouldn't say, well, it says write an equation, not the equation, okay? Because we could center this anywhere we wanted to. We could um, decide that it's gonna go this direction instead of the other. Um, so I'm not overly concerned about that, but here is our basic equation. And now you'll remember with ellipses um, that c squared, which helps us find the focus, is um, what I remember is if there's a plus sign here, this equation has the opposite. So with an, an ellipse, it's a plus and then a minus here. With the hyperbola, it's a minus here and then a plus over there. Okay, so we'll take the absolute value of a squared minus b squared. Oh, and now I do need a calculator. Dang it. Okay, well... So c squared is equal to, this number is bigger than that one, so we don't need the absolute value. Okay, where is, I'm going to cheat, well not cheat, I'm going to go to Desmos. And I need 48.5, I happen to have Desmos up on my computer, squared, um, which is approximate, well, which is, by the way, this squared is equal to 2352.25, which is a fraction with one fourth. And so we don't, we still don't want decimals um, in our fraction. So it would become 4x squared over, I don't know. Well, do you really want me to figure it out? I don't want to. Okay, so it's that minus 23 squared. Um, and so when I subtract those, well, then I need to take, oh, I forgot to take the square root of everybody. Oh, hang on. Okay, I slowed myself down. 48.5 squared 
minus 23. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. I'm, um, well, here we go. Watch this. I came over. Oh, it's a Desmos. Wow, that looks terrible. Okay, so basically, that looks really bad. Okay. Oh, and that's me getting ready for the next problem I'm going to teach you. Don't look at the answer. Okay, so that's um, 42 point, about 42.7. Okay, so that means, what does that mean? That means that here's the center and here's a foci and this is that C value. So C is approximately, we just said, about 42.7. Um, and so where are the foci? They're 42.7 feet from the center. How far are they from each other? What is that, 85.4 feet? Can I multiply? Mm, not very well. Okay, so I think the original question had been like, how far apart are the foci from each other? Well, so basically what's happening here, here's the other one, this, this whole distance, you can be 85 feet away from um, the other person and hear exactly what they're saying. So that would definitely make politics a lot more interesting. Okay, hopefully that made sense. Um, now go practice some elliptical um, word problems. The only thing, one thing I want to tell you, um, semi-elliptical... They use that in some of the problems, semi-elliptical. Well, what is a semi-circle? It's half a circle. So what is a semi-elliptical shape or a semi-ellipse or something like that? Basically, it's just half of the ellipse. Okay, so you'd have the center would be here and the foci would be here and here or whatever, but you've only got half of it. Cool? So um, so there's that. When they talk about a semi-elliptical, just kind of go, go with that with that assumption. Good luck. Go practice.